everybody. Now it's been quite a long time since I did my last foundation routine and since then I've very much changed what it is that I do every day and what I use. Always getting asked questions like what do I use, how do I get it so white, why does it look so smooth and do I put it on the shaved part of my head and tra la la la. So today I'm going to show you my everyday foundation routine using Cryolan Super Color Clown White Grease Paint. Looks a bit used, but that's because I use it every single day and have been doing so for quite a while now, and it keeps getting stuffed in and out of my makeup bag. So anyway, this is the product here that I'm using. It has taken ages of using it every day to get through this much. This is the best and cheapest thing I recommend using if you want to like chalk white, which is obviously what I strive for. I bought this from a shop locally, so I'll try and find it for sale online and chuck a link in the description box below for you. Unfortunately for all of us, we have to start this video with my face with no makeup on it. I have a better camera now than I used to and my skin's particularly yuck at the moment and I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's get started. Bizarrely, for the first time ever, I've managed to find a foundation that's actually improved by the use of moisturizer going on underneath. So, first I'm putting some moisturizer on all over my face, especially in the dry areas, which for me is particularly around my nose. And I'm just using normal Nivea cream. Oftentimes I will also put on an eye cream moisturizer. This one's just from the brand Altera and contains olive oil. I take a knockoff beauty blender and dampen it, and I use that to apply the grease paint all over my face. I try not to put it on too thickly, a little goes a long way. I apply it with a wiping motion and then smoothen it out with a patting motion. I use the pointed side of the sponge for the areas that need more care with detail, such as around my nose, around my eyes, and my hairline. And for those of you wondering, yes, it does just get all over my piercings, but I wipe that off later. As you can see, this makeup is a lot whiter than my natural skin tone. I also pack my ears, neck, chest, or shoulders if you can see them. So these tattoos are fresh, so I'm going to be very careful to go around them and wipe off any makeup I accidentally get on them. Now I'm just wiping off the makeup that I accidentally got on my new tattoo. Once the grease paint has dried a bit, I put a clear matte powder on over the top. This is just from the brand Essence, I guess it's what you'd call a cheap drugstore brand, but it works just fine. Fine to use a clear powder or a white powder, but this step is important because grease paint tends to get quite shiny. Now since I randomly decided to shave half of my head, a few people have been asking me whether or not I put makeup on my head. The answer is yes, and I put it on exactly the same way as I do on my face. And face fully restored again, thank goodness. If you have yet to do so, please subscribe to my lovely channel. I make at least two videos every week, and I do hope you found this video helpful, and thank you very much for watching. So as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye!